Hi, and welcome to today's Wednesday webinar. Um, I'm Jill Bates, and with me is Stephanie Wanick, and we are meeting with Craig Peterson, who is with the Nebraska Cooperative Purchasing. And we are really excited for Craig to share some information about co-op purchase and tell you about all the resources that are available. So we're gonna turn it over to Craig. Thank you. And um, I think the easiest way to uh, start with co-op is to go to the uh, website www.neesucoop.org. And that's the landing page I have listed here. There are probably two, uh, er two or three areas that I would point out, and there are both uh, under member procurement. So if you go to member procurement and marketplace resources, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the marketplace resources, we have uh, broken down video of the marketplace of registering on the marketplace, approval chains, explained and approving and releasing orders. So it just kind of gives you a quick synopsis of the marketplace in short videos. Um, so it's a nice resource to have. Um, also, if you want to point your teachers to ordering from the marketplace, this is a good one to watch basic marketplace ordering. It gives you a quick 20 minutes. Uh, it is a little lengthier, but it gives you 20 minutes of explanation of the marketplace. Uh, we also have some other recorded uh, uh, vendor information, so uh, Securely Demonstration, we have uh, have a, a contract with Securely, we've uh, recorded those short uh, webinars, and the new Sella is a 49-minute uh, webinar that we had, so uh, we'll also add one here uh, this next week for Myon through Renaissance, so uh, we'll have that available here shortly. So that's the resources. Uh, if you want to find out information about uh, what contracts are available without logging into the marketplace, you can go browse product categories. And by doing that, we have it broken down into multiple different categories. And when you click into a category, it will give you those vendors that are in that category. So I, I uh, clicked into uh, athletic floors, running tracks, synthetic turf, and, and tennis courts. We have a number of vendors that are listed there. Most of these vendors on this category are from a national contract. I, I would say all of them are actually. And so you can kind of click into each uh, vendor and read a little bit about them. Uh, we'll have more information available in the marketplace. And so uh, we'll get you in there here shortly. So, Craig, um, teachers, so can do this, teachers can do this um, all year long, right? Not just in uh, March or April? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, the, the co-op has changed over the years. It used to be kind of an annual buy process, you know, that one time a year. Uh, now we have catalogs available year-round uh, to include the annual buy catalog. Uh, with some of the vendors, we extend pricing up to uh, January and uh, we'll be taking that catalog down here soon, but it, it is available from last year. The difference is there may be increased pricing on the extended catalog of the annual buy uh, because we're not doing aggregated ordering, we're doing teacher orders or staff orders at that point. So uh, there may be a difference in price then. Uh, your best price is gonna be during that annual buy period. Mm -hmm. So, Member procurement, uh, there is also a page dedicated to the annual buy process. Uh, it lists a um, breakdown of the timeline. So the first one um, is going to be the annual buy. It also gives uh, staff vendor contact information. So if there's a problem with a the shipment, they can come in here and pull up the vendor name and then look who the contact is. And it's important to do that uh, rather than uh, sometimes contacting the uh, customer service representatives because sometimes those customer service representatives are not aware of the annual buy process. Uh, staff can access the W-9s for the uh, business department. Uh, if there's a, a discrepancy, we have a form here that you can file that discrepancy with the vendor. Um, and then we provide updates for the annual buy. So if a product gets substituted or something, you can come in here. This is just a Google Doc. Come in here, uh, access the spreadsheet, and do a search on that item to see if it's been changed. Uh, we have to approve any changes after they've been awarded. So uh, if you get a product that has changed, 
uh, you can view that here. So, and then there's a link here to suggest new items. And so for the next year, uh, we take those suggestions and we add uh, write specifications and add that to our catalog. So that's where you can come in and, and add those. Um, then we also have the uh, paper buy listed and the timelines available for that. So uh, that is most of the information available on our website. Um, obviously, if you need to contact us, you can uh, select the contact us. My office is in Holdridge, and so uh, that's my contact information. Uh, but we have office an office in Ainsworth also, and then our executive director is uh, actually in La Vista. So to get into the marketplace, uh, we have this button uh, in the middle of the page. It doesn't matter where you're at on our website. If you choose that button, it'll take you to the login page. Uh, if you don't have uh, an account, you can register. Um, basically what you do is you choose your agency name. So, uh, uh, so if I say Wahoo Public Schools or something, I can uh, select that agency, uh, it pops up, and then I just populate all the information. As long as you utilize an email address of the school district, and we have that address in our white list, uh, you'll automatically be accepted into the system. Uh, you'll be able to turn around and log in once you set all this up. Uh, if not, if we don't have that in the white list, then I, I get a notification of it and I'll go in and verify that that is the school's domain and then we'll add it. So, so once we get into the marketplace and I'm going to hop out here, I'm already logged in. This is what you're going to see. Uh, you're going to see vendor tiles uh, within the marketplace. Um, we have vendors listed up here at the top what we call marketplace suppliers. They are vendors that have shoppable items that you can order today. And right now we have 30, 35 vendors available that you can shop from. Uh, not to include vendors within our ESU CC uh, store. Uh, there's multiple vendors in there too. So, but then there's additional suppliers down below and these suppliers are would require you to contact them direct. Uh, we don't have the items in the marketplace to shop from. You're not gonna order AstroTurf from or the marketplace anyway, so you need to contact those vendors and ask for ESU CC or AEPA pricing. AEPA is our national organization, and so we bring a number of contracts back from that national organization um, to include AstroTurf, uh, FieldTurf, uh, a number of vendors that are in that category. So uh, that is available. And so there's a 25 additional vendors that do not have shoppable items and so forth. So the way I would utilize the marketplace, um, I, I will point out that if you want to find out more information about that vendor, if you click on the vendor logo, it's going to take you to an overview of that vendor and very quickly you can read up on on the vendor what's available it'll give you corporate contact information but we also highlight uh, nebraska contact your nebraska sales contact in the lower right hand corner and so i would suggest reaching out to that vendor if you have any questions um, we list documents within that vendor's information to include oftentimes the contract maybe a flyer uh, maybe even a W-9 sometimes if we have that, and so uh, it's available there. But you also will have a link to shop for that supplier site if they have a, a store that you can shop in. So by clicking on that link or by clicking on the icon underneath it, the globe, it'll take me to that vendor uh, where that vendor's information is stored in, in the shopping store. Uh, Think of it as a mall and you enter all these different stores. This particular vendor, InfoBase, was in the ESU CC store, which is going to have multiple vendors. And if I hit search here, uh, it's going to list those vendors on the left-hand side over here. Uh, Myon, IXL, uh, InfoBase, NoB4, WorldBook, Harris School Solutions, JourneyEd, and Securely. They're all listed within 
uh, the ESUCC store. So if I wanted to look at that info-based uh, vendor, I can check mark that and I can see what that vendor has offered. Um, by clicking into InfoBase, I can go in and look a little bit deeper and get more information on each product than how, what the cost is and so forth. So this is price per student, so uh, you'd add the number of students in your school district. So uh, Another one that's uh, very recent, uh, I'll go back to our main marketplace page. So the link up in the upper left hand corner will take me back to the main page. Um, and highlight another vendor uh, that is that is very recently. All these are in alphabetic order, uh, so sometimes you have to do some looking to see what vendors are available. Nucella is a, a new contract that we have available, and again, here's a flyer. If I click on that flyer, I can get more information about this vendor. And so there's a two-page flyer, or and this one's probably yeah two pages and so you can get information about that um, I can shop on that supplier site so when I hit shop on supplier site it takes me to that store which is only new seller and so if I hit search it's going to list all the items in their store they have 43 items uh, so I can uh, peruse this and paginate through the pages there's page numbers down below and that'll take me to through each page that they have available on the marketplace. And that so, might be a reason um, that some of our teachers are um, used to using. We've we've suggested it um, in the past um, to use the free version, but now there's the upgraded pro pro um, license too. So that's a good one. Right. So that's kind of a reading engagement for students, teachers, and principals. Order it through the marketplace. Uh, that webinar under the resource page is available for Nucella. Uh, another one that I will highlight is Kajit. Uh, Kajit is uh, very new and we just contracted with this vendor. Uh, what it, it does is it allows us to uh, put uh, mobile hotspots on buses or uh, check out hotspots to students to take home for internet access at home. And so uh, this is the overview of Kajit. Um, within that overview, there is a request form. So if I select that request form, it takes me out to another website. I populate, uh, get a price quote. I populate everything here, uh, the state I'm coming from, and the AESA contract vehicle, if you select ESUCC Nebraska, that will signify that it's you're one of our members. So uh, they'll give you the reduced pricing at that point. So um, that's how you access Kajit. I would think that Kajit would be um, a vendor that would be really important for schools to, to know about, especially in this, this day and age where people um, need to have uh, Wi-Fi access all the time. It's great for activity buses, uh, you know, those long trips, you know, they're able to continue doing their homework then uh, if you're utilizing a learning management system or something like that. So, or if you've got a, a population of students, uh, low income students, uh, you can provide internet access at home for them uh, and make, make it equitable to those students then. So, yes. Right. Um, Another one I'll highlight is uh, a fairly recent one too, is Scholastic. Uh, we just brought them on board. Um, and, and this one, I have to do some additional work to bring it, make it available in the marketplace, so it may not be available quite yet. But uh, a number of things that uh, Scholastic offers is literacy skills, guided reading, early childhood, uh, classroom libraries, digital resources, uh, they have supplemental programs, not to mention their family and community engagement programs, uh, learning supports, and professional learning. So they, they have a broad uh, spectrum of, of product that they can offer and so forth. Again, these, these are going to be listed in the marketplace. Uh, I have access to them right now, um, but they're not quite available. I haven't got the word from the representative to turn this on for everybody. And so uh, at that point, we'll have over 5,000, right at 5,000 items uh, available uh, through Scholastics. So um, 
I think every new. elementary teacher loves Scholastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear to my ears then. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I did mention the annual buy. Uh, it is still available. Uh, so uh, what that means is it's not going to get aggregated by address like we typically do for the annual buy. As soon as the teacher or staff member su uh, submits their order, that order then goes goes to those vendors. Um, if I go into that store and look at those items, we had 3,900 and some items available uh, at the annual buy process. Uh, we still have 3,633 items available today. And those will be available up to, until January 1. So when they will begin the process, of awarding and building the catalog, making that available February 1 for the new year. So uh, we're already working on that uh, and the big closes this Friday. So uh, right. one, one of the questions that we're always asked about the annual buy is that when you're in the catalog and you see that little snapshot of your um, of the, the item, can you click on the link to find out more specific information about the item? Sure, yeah. Um, some of these items do. So yes, I can come in here for this camera and click on this camera. And within this, I get more information. But a lot of times what we'll do is uh, also list a specification URL. And so I can click on that and go out to the manufacturer's website. And if we find those, we'll add those URLs. We don't have them for every item, though. Uh, some vendors will uh, submit them and some others will not. So here's the specification uh, for that uh, camera that we just saw. And I can actually go to that specifications page and read more, get the full breadth of information there is about that camera. The more technical items we'll do that with, uh, the less technical ones, we, we may not have those. So yeah, that's those are available. I will also point out um, we, we have an, kind of a, another annual buy process for a number of items. Uh, that would include World Book, Movie Licensing USA, which you're not going to see right now, uh, Movie Licensing listed, uh, because it is only available from February 15th to May 15th. Um, and then Securely is an in internet filtering solution. So, uh, so we have a number of products where ESUCC is the build entity, and then we build the school districts based on the orders that they've placed. Uh, so Worldbook is still in the marketplace. They've allowed us to keep it up, but we like to aggregate that between February 15th and, and May 15th. So you can place your orders, and then we'll, after May 15th, we'll send the PO to Worldbook. And again, click on the globe uh, for Worldbook. It takes you out to a store, and this one actually is the issue CC store again. And I can come down here, check mark World Book, and I can see the number of items listed there. Now we have the digital items in our marketplace. We also have print material available through World Book under contract. Uh, it would be just a matter of communicating with the, uh, the uh, Nebraska representative, which we have a new one now. Uh, but that information is in the marketplace. So if I go back and look at Worldbook, click on their icon, uh, Leslie Christensen is the new Worldbook representative in Nebraska. Dale Weber has retired, so uh, that's available. Some other key uh, bids that I will talk about, uh, we go out to bid on a number of other items to include food. And so if I come down here, Cisco is our food vendor. Uh, schools, if you've not worked with us, we get uh, deep, deeper discounts going through Cisco. You have to have a signed contract with the issue CC. Those contracts renew April or August 1st of every year. And so Cisco is the named vendor on that. We also have a custodial buy, and that custodial vendor is Supply Works. Um, they are Home Depot company. In order to uh, see Supply Works, I have to punch out to them by clicking on the globe and it takes me to their website. 
Um, I will mention there is a way to search across the marketplace. So if I have a manufacturer number and uh, I'm just going to say hard drive, but if I had a manufacturer number, I could uh, click in here and do a search and it'll search across multiple catalogs in the marketplace. And so when I hit that search icon and it's the magnifying glass, it'll go out and search a number of items. It also says that we may have hard drive. I'm not sure why in the, in the paper catalog, but uh, so I could punch out to that and look for it and I'm not going to find it. But I can see that uh, I've got a number of vendors here, Troxel, CDWG, um, and a lot of CDWG, Journey Ed. And so it went out and searched across multiple catalogs. Now, the ca caveat to that is when I go back to the Marketplace, marketplace homepage, it is only going to search those vendors that have the magnifying glass. And so if they do not have the magnifying glass like SupplyWorks, it's not going to search their page. So I have to punch out to their website in order to search SupplyWorks. Mm -hmm. and, and so what that means is I'm out on their site now and I'm shopping from their site. But when I check out, it's going to bring the, the, uh, the uh, shopping cart back into the main marketplace page to finalize it and send it through uh, an approval chain dependent upon your district and how your district is set up. So, so that's one caveat by doing a search up above. It's not going to search all vendors. So uh, SupplyWorks was our custodial vendor. Uh, we also have a lighting vendor. Uh, we went out to bid for lighting in Ballas, and Boss Lighting out of Lincoln is, is that uh, lighting vendor, and they do have that search connector, so uh, you can search across it. But uh, their items are available in a store that they manage, and so uh, when we punch out to that store, this is what we're going to see. Uh, you can do the search up here uh, for LED, maybe, and uh, it should bring back some results, and that one didn't. So that maybe not change a little bit. I could uh, click on the LED lamps, I guess, and narrow my uh, selection down for that. But these items have been bid out and are available. So okay. their site looks like they've changed a little bit. Well, oh, there it's just a little slow. And there's the items. So if I want to. Uh, T8 uh, LED light, I can uh, purchase those here. So add that to my cart. When I check out, it transfers it back into the main marketplace and we finalize it there. And then the last one I'll, I'll talk about is uh, AEPA vendors. We have 29 nationally uh, awarded vendors that we bring back to the state of Nebraska. And those 29 vendors uh, are spread out throughout uh, the marketplace. A, a way to see if it's a national vendor is uh, click on the vendor logo. And if the cooperative name says AEPA, that means they're, they're a national vendor. They've come from our nationally uh, awarded cooperative. Uh, we contract with them locally in Nebraska, so uh, we bring those back to, to you here. Uh, some of those uh, include a technology catalog with CDWG and M&J Technology, a roofing vendor, Tremco. Uh, we have two roofing vendors, but the uh, Tremco is probably the best one uh, for Nebraska schools. Uh, school Specialty has uh, a number of categories that they participate in, uh, but they have a unique uh, uh, project that they call Projects by Design, where they'll come in uh, with a school district that has a building project and help you design the classroom furnishings. Uh, typically your architects are going to do that, um, but uh, by using projects by design through school specialty, you oftentimes will save uh, school district thirty to forty thousand dollars of architectural fees uh, uh, in just doing that because school specialty doesn't charge you anything. Obviously they are looking for the furnishings on the back end of that. And so um, they're going to design it uh, to where uh, it meets, you know, their 
vendor offering, I guess. Uh, but they also have some lockdown solutions for your classrooms for safety uh, to include uh, door handles, retrofit door handles that you can lock from the inside rather than having to use a key from the outside for those safety issues. And that's really a, a, a broad overview of co-op, I guess. Uh, the main thing that we utilize the marketplace page for is offering uh, vendor information. Uh, there's a lot more information available uh, to include some annual buy dates listed here in the marketplace. Uh, we offer a Twitter feed. Uh, if you like to read our tweets or not, uh, you can close that if you don't like to, but it's available. Uh, I can come in here very quickly and say who are the uh, by categories uh, who are the furniture vendors? And by clicking on that, I can narrow down those vendors that offer furnishings or furniture. And so the category listing is very helpful within the marketplace uh, to narrow vendors down sometimes. And I always have to go back to home to get back to my home page, though. So that's a, a good overview, I would say. Uh, do you have questions? I don't have any specific questions right now, but I've really learned a lot just by sitting mm -hmm. here and listening to you show how to use the website. And I think it shows that um, there's a little bit of something for everyone. I had no idea that we could order food through co-op purchasing and, um, you know, the janitorial supplies and, you know, really it could touch every staff member. And we do about $17 million in sales on average every year. And so throughout the state, uh, the thing I like to say about co-op uh, through ESUCC uh, is that when you shop with us, you're keeping the dollars within the state um, to serve students within the state. Uh, if you shop with another cooperative and there's tons of national cooperatives out there, you're sending dollars out of the state. So I uh, like to keep our dollars within the state. Well, thanks so much for um, helping us out and showing everyone the resources available. And yep. anybody can reach out to us. Um, easy address to reach out to us is co-op at esucc.org. And that'll hit multiple staff members, so we'll see that message. That way, if one of us is out of the office, um, but that's probably the easiest way to reach us. Okay, well, thanks again, Craig, and um, we've enjoyed the time that we've spent with you. And um, from Steph and me, join us at next week's Wednesday webinar also.